Say go, gonna go, go, Santi Smith. Hi, everyone. I just wanted to give a little shout out to Six Nations Youth and the incredible job that you're doing finishing your school year. I know many of you have to be online and that's maybe a challenge. Also, challenging Wi-Fi situations. So I just wanted to give you some encouraging words and say continue, keep learning, keep keep uh, plugging away at finishing your year. Also, just to uh, stay active and keep your mind and your body going. I'll, I'll just give a little bit of uh, what I've been doing to try to deal with um, being isolated and physical distancing at home is um, I've returned to some of the things that I had wanted to do for a long time, but just didn't have the time because of my busy work schedule. So one of them is sewing. I've been sewing face masks and uh, also for to keep people safe, but to also uh, keep my mind occupied and uh, keep me um, in a little bit of a self-care situation where I'm not thinking always about what's happening in the world um, and getting paranoid about it. I tend to do that sometimes. So it helps me focus, unfocus on certain things. Um, the other thing is I planted two gardens. And I think that was, for me, is really great to be able to connect um, my hands and my feet into the, the, the earth and uh, to stay grounded. So I think at times like these when we can be and feel very ungrounded that we find ways to get ourselves grounded and that could be planting plant some flowers uh i did uh, uh quite a lot of vegetables and corn beans and squash and the three sisters mound so that's keeping me occupied and also physical it's, it's keeping me my body going um some of the other things that i like to do uh, but I don't have time for so now I'm going to start uh, again is reading books um, and in particular indigenous authors um, and hearing about what people are, are um, thinking about and, and sharing. So the book I'm reading right now is called Braiding Sweetgrass and it's by Robin Kimmermer and it's and she's an indigenous botanist and she's uh, I mean, I started and restarted and I'm starting it again. So it's really understanding our connections that we had and our indigenous knowledges that we've had from our ancestors that are really important that we can bring into our lives today, even in um, 2020. Um, the thing that I need to do when I encourage everybody to do more of is to be physically active. And everything that I've read and, uh, is that um, staying physically active helps uh, build our immune system, but it also helps to relieve stress. So that's something that I need to do more of. Um, I find myself um, not being motivated to move so much. So I think that um, it's one of the things that I'll have to overcome and, and try to make sure that I'm keeping my body active. And, and then again, that'll help my mood and my my uh, my well-being do something creative whether that's um you know drawing or do some graphic design uh beading uh, i know a lot of uh beaters out there have been just beating up a storm <laughs> if you want to learn more about what i'm doing you can go on facebook and instagram twitter at santi smith i share a lot of um, information on arts and performing arts also, I share what I find interesting about relevant topics on COVID and situations around the globe for Indigenous people and issues like Black Lives Matter. So I encourage you to fill up your summer with um, interesting tasks that you can build for yourself. Uh, stay active in your body and mind. and. Um, this coming year is also going to be sort of challenging because I think um, I know McMaster University, their classes are online. That brings up new challenges, but I think that um, we need to be up for those and really uh, keep moving forward and um, stay strong and stay grounded. So.
So, Nyawe, take care, be safe.